Welcome aspiring physicists. Today we're diving into the intriguing world of capacitors. Whether you're gearing up for your A-level physics exams or just curious about the magic behind electronics, you're in the right place. Um, I'm Andrew and let's embark on this electrifying journey together. While I give you a little bit of an introduction to capacitors before we dive into some of the um, mechanics and specifics in future videos. So what exactly is a capacitor? Simply put, it's a passive electronic component that stores electrical energy in the electric field. Think of it as a tiny rechargeable battery, but with a little bit of a twist. Inside a capacitor, there are two conductive plates separated by an insulating material called a dielectric. When we apply a voltage across the plates, electrons accumulate on one plate, while an equal number of electrons are repelled from the other. And this creates an electric field between the two plates, storing energy. Now let's talk about capacitance itself, denoted by the symbol C. It's the measure of a capacitor's ability to store charge per unit voltage. Mathematically, it's given by the equation we have here, C equals Q over V, where Q is the charge stored and V is the voltage across the capacitor. Now, capacitors themselves come in various shapes and sizes, each with its own capacitance value and applications from these humble ceramic capacitors we have there, which are quite simple, to the high performance electrolytic um, capacitors. There's, there's a capacitor for every circuit design and application. Now, one of the most fascinating properties of capacitors is their ability to charge but also to discharge, okay? So when you connect a capacitor to a voltage store source, a capacitor charges up storing energy. But conversely, when it's disconnected or it's connected to a circuit which has a lower voltage, it discharges, releasing that stored energy. That's how I began saying it was kind of something you could think of as like a, a tiny you know, rechargeable battery. So in summary, capacitors are essential components in electronics. They're playing roles in filtering, timing, energy storage. They have lots of different applications. And this little introduction here is kind of your first step in understanding that behavior because it's it's crucial for mastering a level physics and also if you just want to sort of unlock um the secrets and understanding of modern technology so that's just going to wrap up my very short very brief introduction to capacitors i hope you found this video enlightening if there was things you didn't know before um and that now you're one step closer to becoming an electronics or physics pro or whatever your desire is here. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more uh, physics educational content here. Um, and let me know in the comics what topics you'd like me to explore yet next, or if there's any questions that you have, uh, the links to all my other socials um, and resources you can download are in the description as usual. So until next one, uh, next time, uh, the next one we have here, keep exploring and keep learning. And if you are somebody who's messing around with electronics yourself, happy capacitor tinkering in whatever sort of circuits you're concocting up on your own.